right, welcome back to another episode of the Owl Spiritual Podcast. My name is Christian Brito, and in this podcast, we help you have a transformational type of life. I'm a board certified behavior analyst, and I talk to you guys about my spiritual and emotional awakening and also the transformation that I've had in my personal life and in my spiritual and emotional health. In this episode, we're going to talk a little bit about going through a spiritual awakening and going through what is called the dark night of the soul and kind of a, you know, that spiritual crisis or what some people might uh, have as a uh, emotional crisis or something like that. We're going to talk a little bit about that and dive into it and dive into what that experience might look like for you as an individual. Um, Today, I'm not going to be speaking too much about my story. I've done that in the past, but in this episode, we're going to just talk about Uh, this process in a little bit of more general sense as it might apply to you. So let's talk a little bit about an overview of what a spiritual awakening is. Um, Those of you listening probably already know or have an idea of what that is, but if you're unfamiliar, uh, spiritual awakening just kind of refers to the process of realizing that there's a higher consciousness, realizing that we are all connected to a divine power. And so we have this inner realization that leads to a shift in our perception of the world around us, a shift in our perception of what the universe is. And so that shift in our mindset, that shift in our perception, that shift in our ability to see what is around us and what's within us allows us to have an increased understanding of the meaning of our life, of the purpose of life, of understanding why we're placed here on this earth. And so this process can be triggered very often by a huge life event. Um, For some people, that might be something dramatic or traumatic, like uh, a near-death experience or uh, a divorce or a death of a specific loved one. So for some people, it's going to be something big and traumatic and boom, it just hits you and suddenly there's just this change and shift in perspective of why we're here. And for other people, it could be gradual, a slower process that begins through a gradual inner awakening through spiritual practices or going through a process like through meditation or prayer. But either way, either way, when we have this shift, whether it's a sudden change or a gradual process, very often during a spiritual awakening, individuals, um, maybe like yourself, definitely like me, go through something that is called the dark night of the soul. And so that's what I'm going to talk about a little bit today and hopefully kind of explain what this might look like just in case this is something that you are going through and would like to understand a little better. And so the dark night of the soul is a term that's used to describe a period of intense spiritual crisis. This often will go hand in hand with a spiritual awakening. And it's a time in your life where you might have intense emotional, psychological, spiritual confusion, spiritual turmoil. It can be you know, characterized by those feelings of confusion or despair, isolation. And this period of time can last, you know, typically a few months, maybe, maybe up to several years. And it can be challenging and difficult for, for those of you that have gone through it or are currently going through it. This will typically happen in steps though. And I want to break down what some of these steps might look like for those of you that are maybe going through them, have gone through them, kind of get an idea of what it will typically look like. Again, this is not necessarily a one size fits all, but hopefully you can find some solace if you're going through this and understanding what it might look like. Maybe it could help you through it. And so the first step of the dark night of the soul typically will involve Something called disintegration. During this stage, 
you as an individual might feel that your life is falling apart, that everything that you believe in is being challenged, that you might experience kind of those feelings of confusion, despair, loss of direction. This is where somebody has had, you know, maybe their religious beliefs have been challenged and that's not long, no longer what they believe or their belief in humanity has suddenly shifted or everything that they thought they knew about life, God, the people around them, uh, why they're here on this earth. Something has happened in your life that just suddenly, boom, hits you and you're just there wondering, is this, is this really my purpose? Is this really what I believe in? Is this really what I follow? And that is so hard because we tend to have this cognitive dissonance within us that when our beliefs are challenged, we're like, no, 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 this is what I've always believed. This is what's true. This is what's right. But something within you doesn't sit right with that thought process. And you're like, man, is this really what I believe? Is this really what I think? Or have I just been told this? Is this really what I feel within me is the truth? Or has someone along the way, a teacher, a parent, a counselor, a religious figure, someone told me that this is the truth when in fact it's their truth and not my truth. And so you start to challenge that belief and start to really think, man, I don't know about this. And that's where we kind of get into the second step, which is the descent. So the first step, disintegration. The second step is called the descent. And during this stage, you might feel as though you're in a deep and dark hole that you can't escape. This is where there might be this feelings of intense loneliness or isolation. I'll give you some examples, right? A lot of people, they go through a spiritual awakening and they've been brought up with a specific religious or spiritual belief their whole life. And they no longer align with that. That no longer resonates within them. And so what happens is they will kind of declare that, hey, I don't believe this anymore. And it will cause isolation from all of those around them that do believe that, right? You know, if you go from suddenly being part of a community and then you're no longer part of that or you have different beliefs from your family, your parents or something, and that's no longer the case, you may feel isolated in that regard of your life. And that's not easy because it, it can cause this sense of loneliness where there once was a sense of community or a once was a sense of understanding. And so that leads us into our third step, which is surrender. And in this state, you may begin to let go of your old ways of thinking and being and start to surrender a little bit to this process of transformation. Surrender to understanding, hey, I had this thought, I had this belief, I challenged it, and I'm starting to understand that my old ways of thinking and being are not who I am anymore. This does not necessarily always have to be a spiritual belief. This can be things that deal with your perception of your life, your purpose, how you view yourself. If you start to change the way that you think, you start to change the way that you are, you change your very being, and you start to surrender to this process of transformation because you are now becoming a different person. And that leads us to the fourth step of this dark night of the soul, which is reintegration. And in this step, you as an individual begin to rebuild your life. You incorporate this newfound wisdom and understanding into your daily existence. And you might feel a renewed sense of purpose and direction, right? Because now you've got this different air about what you believe what you feel, who you think you are. And now you incorporate that belief because it resonates within you. This is who I am. This is what I believe. This is what I think. 
and I can actually live in alignment with this realization, with my connection to a divine power, with my realization that I'm connected to a higher consciousness, with my increased understanding, with my newfound purpose, with my newfound meaning of life, with my newfound definition of who I am as a person and who I am as a soul. And so I want to leave you with a couple thoughts on how to potentially get through this dark night of the soul if you're going through it. And I want you to understand that it's important to embrace this process and understand that for many people, this is a necessary process of spiritual growth. It's important that through this spiritual growth, consider it just like you would your mental health or if you're having phys uh, physical health issues, that it's okay to seek others for support such as things like therapy spiritual or religious community trusted friends and families individuals that are having similar or have had similar experiences when you go through through some of these things and then you engage in these spiritual practices right you find somebody that has also kind of had this experience and you start to learn from them they can know kind of guide you hey this is what I do for my meditation or my prayer or my mental health this can help you and kind of you know that community that sense of community can bring you some comfort and peace during something that might otherwise be a difficult time um, I'll give you another little tip a little piece of advice that might help some of you out there which is keep a journal right on there kind of what you're going through, your thought process, your emotions, and remind yourself that this period is going to come through an end. It's just kind of the uh, the uh, butterfly coming out of the cocoon takes some time because that transition process is transformational, but it's not easy, right? You're that caterpillar at first. You have one set of beliefs and you come out the end completely different but changed and renewed. In conclusion, guys, um, the dark night of the soul can be a challenging and difficult time, but it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity here on this earth to evolve as a soul, to grow, to transform, to embrace what you're here for. And embracing that process, seeking support, and getting through it is the way that you can emerge from this life with a deeper understanding and deeper connection to who you are as a spirit, who you are as a soul. As always, thank you so much for listening to this podcast. If you aren't already, I would love to invite you to subscribe, drop in the comment sections, anything that you might want to know. And as always, stay blessed.